Hi everyone, this is Diana Palm. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about the 15 signs that you are a high vibrational person. And if you currently find yourself falling short of that, the things that you can actually do to increase your frequency and vibration. If you're not new here and you've listened to other videos I've done on how to raise your vibration, then it's really important to listen to this particular video because I'm really gonna break it down. There are many reasons why it serves you to raise your vibration. You can raise your physical vibration through dietary changes, lifestyle changes, but the most permanent and long lasting way to increase your vibration will come from following the 15 examples that I have on this list. When it comes to attracting your soulmate, you will actually attract an energy that mirrors you which is why you don't wanna attract love until you have raised your vibration, becoming the highest version of yourself so that you can fall in love with the highest version in someone else. This is the same concept around money. Raising your vibration also impacts the amount of money and opportunities that you can have because when you're in a low vibration, you limit and block yourself off from opportunities, from wealth, from attracting prosperity. So raising your vibration can actually help you to raise your income, attracting more money and opportunities to yourself. When you raise your vibration, you also become a healthier version of yourself and you just quite frankly enjoy life more. So not only do you get more love, more money, more vital health, you actually really enjoy your life. So if you're ready, sit down and write these down. I want you to take note of these so that you can personally evaluate if you are a person that has the qualities of a high vibrational person. And if not, it's okay because now you'll know exactly what to do in order to raise your own vibration. There are some really amazing qualities about high vibrational people and I'm sure you guys know it's a delight to be around them. You may even be one yourself. So I'm gonna break down the list and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit more. Number one, high vibrational people have an awareness of self. Number two, they're emotionally balanced. Number three, they're living in the present moment, not the past and not the future. Number four, they enjoy their life. Number five, they have high energy. Number six, there's a feeling of being connected. Number seven, they have high creativity. Number eight, they experience synchronicities in their daily life. Number nine, they're in a continued state of gratitude. Number 10, they have a positive attitude. Number 11, they uplift others and know that they are not competing. Number 12, they don't hold grudges. Number 13, their thoughts and beliefs continue to change and evolve. Number 14, they feel strong and capable and are often very independent. Number 15, they forgive easily. To understand what a high vibrational person is, sometimes it also helps to understand what the opposite is because sometimes we'll find ourselves being there as well. And when we talk about it and become familiar with it, we can clearly identify in the moment if we're being low vibrational or high vibrational, and then we know how to shift our own behavior to increase our own vibration. If you're not a high vibrational person yet, here's what you may be doing. You may not know who you are and allow other people to persuade you. Your emotions may be erratic or uncontrolled. You may blame others for your bad mood. You may still be living in the past or even fear living in the future. You may have a negative outlook and feel resistant to growth or new ideas, stating things like, this is who I've always been. Your life may feel like a struggle all the time and you compare yourself to others, often feeling rejected by life, by other people, and even being rejected by success. You may hold grudges for a long time, feel dependency on someone else, feel a loss of power in your daily life, and feel a little bit aimless without direction. You may also feel fatigued and have low energy. If you're experiencing low vibrational symptoms in your life, then now you know the opposite. You know how to shift it. It is intentional that you shift your vibration. There are many reasons why raising your vibration will benefit you. I help people in private sessions to heal the past and clear all the shame, blaming, guilt that ties them to those lower frequencies so that they can actually attain 
the higher vibrational frequencies. This is where happiness, joy, love, and money reside. I also help people that are moving through the grief experience to really reach for the afterlife to connect with their loved ones. And I do this because the very act of reaching higher brings their vibration higher. Because when people are stuck in grief, they're stuck at such a low emotional vibration that they often attract other forms of bad luck and illness and lack of money. So raising their vibration, helping them connect with the afterlife, helping them reach higher in the emotional frequency range actually helps lift their grief, bring them to a state of happiness, balance, positivity, and money. Abundance and love are at the higher frequencies. So moving people from a lower vibration to a higher vibration is the most important thing that you can actually do in terms of self-love. Sometimes people think that self-love is just taking a bath or sitting quietly in nature for a few minutes and all of those things help you get there. But the most important things are how you show up in your life, how well you have mastered your emotions, your thoughts, and your beliefs, and the types of things that you spend energy on. Simply being aware, is it bringing my vibration down or is it bringing my vibration up? When people are uplifters, they know that they're not in competition and that there is no shortage or any lack, that there is plenty for everyone and that they can actually offer their love and support to uplift other people, to get excited about another person's success because they know that the more energy they can put into being happy and positive for somebody else to rise, the more the universe cycles it back around and gives that energy back to that person. On the other hand, if you're to see somebody pass you up in your corporation or in their business or in their love life and you're feeling like there's not enough to go around or they took the only position or the only man that was available in your town, that you're all of a sudden thinking that they have something that you want and there's not enough to go around and you're in lack. That's what's holding you in a low vibration. Your inability to be happy for that person, your inability to want the best for that person keeps you in a state of lack. And this is really what's blocking your love, money, and health. So the more you can practice the qualities of a high vibrational person, the more you can actually enjoy the miracles and the blessings and the synchronicities in your life. It truly does feel like you're living in a fairy tale when you're moving through the world in a positive energy in a very high vibrational state and allowing others to come to you that are also vibrating in that energy because that's what happens. Yes, you will have people come to you that want to maybe take some of your positive energy, but when you have self-mastery, you don't just give it away everywhere. You can always uplift and share your energy knowing that there's no depletion, knowing that you don't have to run out of resources because you know also when to walk away and when to honor yourself and when to align yourself with other high vibrational people. So I want you to rewind this video, go back to that list, and by each one of those 15 topics, write down if you feel that you've conquered it, that you're mastering it, that you're living in that energy and vibration. Put an arrow up if you think that you are in your high vibrational state. And if you need a little work in that area, if you may be living in the opposite energy, put a down arrow so that you can go back and work on that particular quality. If you do these 15 things on a daily basis, it will truly transform your life. Every area of your life, every relationship, your business, your health will improve, your finances will grow, and you truly will enjoy your life more. If you believe you're a high vibrational person, put your name down below because I wanna know you. <laughs> and if you feel like you're still working on this energy and growing and expanding into a high vibrational person, that's okay. If you have someone in your life that you can model for this energy, and while no one's perfect, if they are most of the time high vibrational, you will see the results show up in their life. If you know someone like this, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, 
You can learn through osmosis through spending time with people that are high vibrational or even just observing them on TV or on YouTube or anywhere else. Anytime you can spend time around a high vibrational person, you'll learn new things. And this energy will help you to transform as well. If you like this video, if you learned something new, let me know down in the comments below. If you feel like you need some help healing your past or clearing your spiritual energy so that you can get a higher vibration, be sure you reach out to to me for a private session. I work with people around the world. My website is www.dianapalm.com. If you like this video, be sure you give me a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time.